Welcome back everybody, Holiday Doc here for something Raleigh? way out of the ordinary. We're talking about real life situations and stuff that can really affect you in the long run. But before we get to that main topic, this is a map played exclusively with the Ballistic Knives, Midget King and myself going in on this competitive playlist map and uh, we're just having a little bit of fun this is what we like to do and hopefully it gives you something very entertaining to watch while I might give you a little bit more boring of a commentary however it's still something that's important to me and something that I wish would have been uh, you know brought up to myself you know coming up in these the high school years you know for career choices and whatnot so that being said uh, one more thing before we get oh fail get to that topic is MLG Anaheim is right around the corner I am so excited for it you have no idea it's uh, it's gonna be an epic event get to go out to get to go to California love don't mind my singing I'm just uh, excited for it man and it, it's official I am the the black ops commentator I do believe for the rest of the year which it is is such an honor um, to to even be you know brought up for it, and uh, <clears throat> I can't thank my fans and and all my viewers enough for the support. Not to mention the other commentators out there. Woody's Garantag, you know, this guy is a bang up guy. You know, people may rag on him from time to time, but he has done nothing but help me out throughout the the last you know, six seven months here, just trying to he. He just wants to help me out as much as possible. And look, I chase this guy forever. Um, so yeah, um, stay tuned for more Anaheim info. I'm gonna try and work with a bunch of different commentators in the next coming weeks here to create some promotional videos to help boost our live stream coverage and you know get some pe oh headshot uh, to get the viewers the viewership that we need to keep this the Black Ops on the circuit and Call of Duty on the circuit for the remainder of the seasons here. And uh, don't mind if you can hear my kid. Uh, she's having a good time with her mommy and her sister upstairs. They're being a little loud, but that's what family life's all about. And we're beating these guys 4-0. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so let's get started on topics. Now, I know quite a few people um, in, in the big career fields. Uh, I know people that are in the medical field, doctors. I know a, a, a dentist. Not really a dentist. He does orthodontics. Um, so like braces and stuff and I know uh, Pilsner Pilsner is a uh, journeyman machinist and he's got like one of the coolest jobs ever like he can take like blocks of metal and create the most ridiculous things out of it and it's so precise and you have to be such an intelligent person to, to really grasp it and this is kind of where I want to get your guys' feedback. Do, do you guys want to see a series where I bring these people in and talk about, you know, career choices, you know, what they did, what they, how hard it was to get there, and, you know, what made them choose that path? Uh, for me, I think that's kind of interesting. If if I were to be in uh, the 17, 18-year-old range and, and uh, you know, kind of stuck on my career choice, I think it would be absolutely fantastic to watch something I enjoy like Call of Duty and, you know, try and get something educational out of of it at the same time and that educational purpose is everything that I do on the channel anyways you know educating people on how to get better how to be a better player and how to enjoy this game and make it for something more than 10 and 0 make it for something more than it's already worth so uh, the first thing I want to talk about is, is my career choice um, I don't really have a career um, I you know was gonna go to school for some things and I it just got so turned off of everything and it just bothered me so I abandoned it altogether and I went into a completely different field that worked out for many years and then unfortunately YouTube conflicted with uh, with that career choice and unfortunately I had to leave it but that being said now I'm I still like to do things that I love and I think that's the most important thing when you're trying to choose a career um, what do I want to do now? I want to make online gaming my career. I want to produce videos, produce series, take it to the next level and go to these MLG events, be spokespersons for the, the advocates for competitive gaming and esports community like Hastro. Hastro is a big part of, uh, of my goals because he's kind of shown me, you know, a correct, one of the correct ways to kind of take playing at the game and then transition it into the post 
playing of the game. You know, when you're done playing it and having fun, what do I do next? How do I make this a career? How do I make how do I make this viable and a source of income for my family and everything? Seven and oh, first half. Nuff, nuff, hold the rough, right? <laughs> People get so mad when I <laughs> say stupid shit like that. I think it's hilarious, and believe me, I don't, I don't ever talk talk like that in lobbies, unless you know we're just kind of making fun of people that are calling us BK McScranny Randoms. Um, so yeah, uh, competitive gaming is now my main focus. It really is. I've been talking to quite a few people. I've purchased a lot of stuff for the basement here and um, we're trying to build a professional set for a series that I want to create but that's not everybody's you can't everybody can't be the next big thing on the internet <clears throat> there's so many fish in the sea you know what about the people who just want to attain you know some other career choices let's let's talk about Pilsner's career choice uh, Pilsner always wanted to do a trade no matter we were I don't know sixth or seventh grade and his dad was a journeyman uh, I believe for parts uh, he was a parts journeyman and um, it, it was always something that he he wanted to do and it, he never thought of any of the uh, you know, obviously the the hundred K roll I guess you could say jobs like the big entertainment sort of I don't know technology jobs e IT stuff like that um, he was always you know a hands-on guy and I think that I I respect him so much for it because he took the initiative he took one year off which is al almost like a deadly thing like most people that take a year off after high school have a really hard time you know getting back into it and continuing their career line but uh, Pilsner did a fantastic job by doing that and he has rewarded himself nicely he now works for a really big oil company um, I think making over I think he makes I think $35 an hour now and his job is not that hard once you get to journeyman because now you're almost like your own boss he's got his own section in this big big factory warehouse deal and he just sets his own pace does his own thing and uh, I'm tremendously you know I'm proud of everything that he's accomplished um, and I think that's a huge thing when uh, when people choose the right careers like you don't want to choose something that you're gonna be like oh my god I have to go to work every single day like and that's one thing talking to talking to Pilsner about is he never has that he never wakes up in the morning like oh do I really have to go to work today he's always like oh, I'm gonna go to work today I'm gonna make 500 bucks so, um, you know obviously the money motivates him and uh, I definitely want to see your guys' views if I should bring these people on individually and you know get some insight into you know what they do on a daily basis and how how exciting is it for them and uh, hopefully we can do something like that and if you guys like it we can continue the series and wow, Midget King comes around the corner. I was about <laughs> this. This guy's got no perks. Oh man, that's terrible. Uh, Midget King came around the corner, and instead of me shooting the guy, Midget King killed him, and then I killed Midget. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good times. So yeah, definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what your take is on this idea, idea, and uh, hopefully the feedback is good and positive and. And it warrants me getting these people on board for some commentaries and hopefully inform the people as much as possible. And um, definitely I think that the youth these days definitely needs a little bit of help and directions as far as you know what they should be doing right and, and all that good stuff. I see a lot of people that are just so fantastically knowledgeable that and they just make the wrong choices because they had nobody to give them advice or guide them in the right direction and I see that a lot actually up here up north in uh, Canada um, a lot of people I went to to school with were just amazingly talented and intelligent that have kind of like washed out and uh, a big story is that uh, of that specific topic right there was uh, I was really good friends with a, a guy on the uh, the football team, and uh, he dropped out of the football team. He got involved with uh, selling selling drugs, and uh, um, not just the little drugs. He was like trying to sell cocaine, and that was huge. Like where I'm from, like who the hell does that? And uh, so he got mixed up in the wrong crowd, and he went downtown to an area to I don't know either partake in some business or not whatnot, and he got shot, killed right in the street, 18 years old. 17 years old actually when it happened I think and 
he was, I don't know, um, a, at least a 90 above average student. So right there, just there's, there's just so many things like that. And I got more stories like that. There's so many things that is that have uh, popped up and the people I've met. And when I went out east for, uh, for, for some schooling for a bit there, uh, there was some people there that it was just like a, such a culture shock. And, and meeting up with uh, people and how they like treated other guys and you know the stuff they got mixed up in was just it was so crazy but uh thanks again for tuning in to the commentary of the day make sure you check out these videos that i posted in the last couple days um the links will be here at the end i'm not sure which ones i'm going to choose for you guys to go to i know sub boxes have been messing up like crazy but I would definitely appreciate it. If you go ahead and just take a minute of your day, uh, sort through these videos. Have you seen them? Have you not? If you haven't, check them out. If you have, well, go check them out again. Anyways, I'm Holiday Doc. Truly appreciate everybody's support.